What's up guys, Pirani here. So on last week I created a video about uh, how to create your canvas on VR. So it was really cool that Evan suggested a new video about how to make a scene transitions with collisions. So I had some idea. We, in this video we're going to create like a scenario, like a small game. So it's going to be like a scenario where we're going to collect a few coins. We have a wall and after we collect this these coins the wall will disappear and we'll be able to go to the next level if we go to the trophy. So we feel triggered with the trophy. So I will show the new scene transitions, the way we're going to do that. And also, if you have any, I will recommend you to watch the previous tutorial to do this one. But if you don't, uh, I will leave in the description below the project. So you can download, you can test yourself. So that's going to be really cool, really interesting. So after all that said, so let's begin. So um, continue from the previous one, previous tutorial, we have here the main menu scene. So I'm going to first create a new scene to work with. Uh, we're going to start from zero. So create a new scene and uh, let's call it level underscore one, zero one. And so open the new scene first. Let's delete the main camera because we won't need it. We're going to use the player we created from the previous tutorials. So here I have the player and we need to delete the components we're not going to use. So I'm going to not going to grab anything. So let's delete this, this script. And also delete the play script, the player grab. After doing that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the player walk script from the other tutorials as well. And let's change the speed to 10. Perfect. So now I'm going to create the map. Uh, first add the emulator also, but I'm going to create now the map. And I'm going to speed up a little bit because I don't want you guys to see the whole process. After creating scenario, let's create a collectible. So it's going to be a cube and uh, every size to 0 0.5 and zoom in and I will rotate to 45 degrees. After doing that, let's apply like a color just to look nicer, uh, a little bit better now. <laughs> and I'm going to have to crew, rename it to coins. And after renaming to coins, let's add a script to it for to control the, the behavior. I want to make the this cube spin and so to look a lot nice so let's collect both script so double click to open and here in our script uh, what we're going to do we need a vector tree variable I'll call it spin and in the void upd just spin equals new vector tree I want to 5 so 5f five on x 5f on y and 0f on Z axis because I don't want to rotate on Z axis. So and then transform dot rotate and let's give it its spin value. Perfect. Save it. Let's go back to Unity now. And here, just don't forget that that's very important. Just uh, set it the cube to trigger. I almost forgot about that. So we want to when we trigger with the object we we collect it and um, just reposition and test. See how it looks. Yeah. It looks perfect, it's rotating. So now what we wanna do is uh, duplicate. Let's create more uh, cubes. So duplicate, let's create uh, around four, yeah, four cubes would be perfect for us. So let's just position there and don't forget to save the scene. Perfect, I think it's look perfect. It looks good now, yeah. So now what we're gonna do, let's create the, the trophy. It's gonna be when we collide with the trophy, we change the scene. That means we, we pass, we, we finish the level. So just don't forget to set this trigger. I create a cylinder and I also want to give a color like a yellow color. Yeah, that looks nice. It looks like a trophy. Like when we collect, we can now, uh, change the scene. So give it a name, uh, trophy. This is going to be our trophy to change the scene and let's add the player script to make us collect the, the cubes now. Inside the script, the player walk script, we need a few things. First, we need to get the wall. We're going to make it disappear. So game object wall, 
we need a public game overall and uh public uh int count we're gonna count count because we're gonna count how many uh, objects we collect how many cubes we collected so then what we need is uh void on trigger enter method so uh so here if other dot game object dot compare tag coin if we collide if we trigger to coin would be our cubes so we destroy the cube so we destroy the other dot game object so that means we are destroying the game object there and we're gonna count plus plus so we're gonna add one to our count so our count is gonna be zero at the beginning so when we collide we destroy and add one to count and so if count is equal four we're gonna deactivate the wall so all the set active equals false yeah so that way when we have when collect four cubes we're going to be able to deactivate the, the the wall so let's just add a tag now to the coins the cubes so create a tag coin and select all the cubes and give it the tag coin now so now everything should work actually don't forget to add the wall so we need to check which wall we're going to need so is this wall wall three so drag it to to wall there and let's test it so let's see how it looks yeah we have all the cubes spinning and we collect let the second one, third one the fourth and the wall disappear perfect so that means everything's working fine so for now what we need we need to make the trophy uh add the script to the trophy we need to make the functionality of the trophy work we want to change the scene once we trigger with the trophy so let's create a script like win game so for this script we don't need the start and update method what we're going to need is just uh on trigger void on trigger enter so it's very simple so if we trigger what we're going to do so if we trigger with the player so auto dot game object dot compare tag player if we trigger with the player what we want we want to change the scene so for this we need to using add using unity engine dot scene management scene management yep and after that we need just simply to change the scene so scene manager scene manager yep dot load scene and which scene we want let's create a variable public variable to give it a name so public string let's call level name and here we add the level name perfect so we're going to be able to add it on the inspector go back to unity here so wait until our script is applied and now we have the menu scene and level one so once we trigger we want to go to menu scene so there here we write just menu uh add the bin settings and the build settings delete the levels you don't need we just need menu and level one and okay so one more thing before we start we need to go to player and give the, the tag to the player don't forget about that save it and last time to test so here we are we have our level we can collect the cubes the coins whatever you want to call and the ball disappear and if we trigger it's there we can change the scene but we cannot change back to to the game because we have to go to the menu we have to go to the button now and change the scene now the scene name we want so our scene is level underscore one, zero one so we change it save it now and if it, we try now to work from the to start from this scene the menu scene we have the start game so we click start we have the collectibles here we collect all the cubes and we trigger with the trophy we change the scene so there you have it you see now it's kind of weird we have the, this um the lights they're not properly done so we show you the way you can fix that so we go to window uh, rendering light settings and go to object maps and uh, uncheck this auto generate and click generate lighting after you do that that problem might be solved if you do, if it's not you can just let me know i'll find a way to to solve that problem just leave in the comments below you have a problem with this but let's test again and start menu now see the problem solved so if we trigger the trophy again we change the scene 
Okay guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, any suggestions, please leave in the comments below. I will answer everyone. And uh, in this video, we had opportunity to create our first like kind of game. So we had the, the, the scenario, we can collect, we have objects that, that we can collect and move to the next one. So now it's from, from you guys. You can use this as a tool to start your creating maybe your game or your scenarios, your things. You know how to change the things now, create a menu. Um, so that's what I wanted to do with this with these videos. So please, if you're enjoying, if you get anything, any information uh, from it, so please let me know. Leave in the comments below and see you in the next week, guys. Thank you.